Is this the kind of car you want to have to be built in your highway? Or is this the car that you want to do you want to have as a police cruiser? This is a Ford Interceptor concept. Hello folks, this is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel. I am looking through what is supposed to be the next Ford Crown Victoria, even though I never meant to say to offshore production of Ford Mustang, that was just like a stupid story and or a good idea or whatever it is. Because Free trade, you know, when it comes to free trade, well, they say, oh, okay, they're going to buy this car. Well, it's just corporations that just want to decided to make facilities in other countries. Or, for example, it's located in Detroit, Michigan. I mean, Dearborn, Michigan. But originally, the, co the company is an American company. For you folks right there. I didn't mean to just piss off the people at the that work at the St. Thomas assembly plant. But this car might be the next crown bit. And as I'm saying, foreign auto work auto companies. Companies that are not from the United States. Guess where the auto manufacturing boom in the US is is growing? Even FMC, if FMC is watching, FMC like the Ford Motor Company, Tennessee. Why Tennessee? Well, it's kind of like, like a, a little bit of a low union, but just one U U.S. domestic company, one U.S. based car company, one of the big three only has it. Those General Motors have. A factory in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Yeah, that that's where the manu auto manufacturing is developing in the United States. I think a Ford Motor Company want to bring jobs to America. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you a great place to manufacture the next CV. That means this this car you see right there. This is like the Crown Victoria for 2013. Yes, it's gonna be called the Crown Victoria for 2013 or 2012. Well, Taurus can't make it. Falcon, all right. This is gonna be like a like okay. You know, it's gonna be like, okay, is there's Falcons. Falcons are cool in Australia, but still, it's gonna be foreign made. I mean, for uh, my fellow Canadians, friends, I'm talking to what I'm saying that you guys are gonna make the Falcon. This is for US people that wanna be yes, assured to buy American made products. Well, this interceptor concept, this one that could be the cream of the crop of cops. Well, you we need skilled workers. I mean, Tennessee have very skilled auto workers. That means could need quality requirements, and everything else is that. Even though foreign based companies, companies of, that are based outside the U.S. One German company, the other one Japanese. Nissan has a factory in Smyrna, Tennessee. Uh, Volkswagen in Chattanooga. Well, what all? The Knoxville assembly plant. Building a Ford plant in Knoxville. Screw India. Screw China. Screw Mexico. Right here in the U.S., baby. Why? Because I think it's kind of like lower wages than the rest of the US even though union is kind of very low 
UAW mining just paid the workers in, ten in Tennessee in the Knoxville assembly plant. Well, because why the hell you're gonna like um, in the United States to inaugurate the, the the Knoxville assembly plant? I mean, why the hell that you have to like say bringing a uh, the Falcon, yeah, the Falcon back, even though, and making it outside the U.S. to re to reopen the factory to reopen the factory that closed in Canada. Of course, that that factory started with the Falcon. So what all started from scratch with the Falcon? Even though bringing bring an Australian worker to Canada just to chip the Falcon as a police cruiser in Japan that's kind of make kind of nonsense no the one thing we gotta do is bring out that intricate center concept build a factory in Knoxville Tennessee the Knoxville assembly plant the Ford Knoxville assembly plant they'll be like generating US jobs and and guess what? No better place than generate U.S. jobs than very well skilled, good working, Knoxville, Tennessee work auto workers. Even though like, oh, even though people that are like retired from the I mean not retired that are like they just quit and or they wanted to work for a U.S. auto plant. And they work for a foreign. If they see that, see that from a, from a foreign company or like Volkswagen and Nissan, um, mostly Nissan and workers that I like. I don't know what they do when they were like lazy or something like that. Hire them there, skilled workers, at the Knoxville assembly plant. That's it. Why Knoxville? Why Ford Knoxville assembly plant? In Knoxville. They'll make this interceptor concept that I show you as a Crown Victoria, and then also the same con the same interceptor concept you could make the Lincoln Continental. I don't know about the town car, but the Continental. Even though making the Continental making making the the Lincoln town car, I mean the Lincoln one of that popular. Luxury, car, luxury cars, the Continental, making the Lincoln back in the U.S. Right, even though, even though it'll be great, but for the inauguration of the Knoxville plant, will be the president. Why the president? Because I think the president, I mean Obama, that is the president. If they, he want to inaugurate the plant, he'll be proud that he'll say about the Crown Victoria being built. He says he was saying, now it's built right here in right here in America, in Knoxville. That's what the president might say. Why? Because the Crown Vic, the Interceptor, that the Interceptor concept one uses the Crown Victoria and build it in Knoxville. Well. You have a better chance that the police force might buy American, not just from an American company, but American made, and that'll be it. Instead of this, I don't know how the quality of the tours as a police car could come. I think when they have gold, I mean, reach as gold standards or JD Power Associates for the Knoxville assembly plant. The Knoxville assembly plant might do as a well as a good job or better than the St. Thomas plant that they where they used to make it. Well, it's time to bring jobs back, man. So FMC, let me say I mean FMC like Ford Motor Company, I will tell you about it, man. Wanna bring back this car? One people be forced to plus the American manufacturing economy be happy. The police force be happy. The lifestyle force be happy. The lifestyle 
boutique style like luxury to be happy to have the continental back why not open a factory in Knoxville and because because now we're not where Tennessee is like the biggest growth in auto industry then Ford got a butt in but they're at, butt in UAW workers and everything all right all right and this is what I'm saying I'm just going to go but the auto code for all right all right the UAW code the UAW code so when it comes all right when it comes when it comes even though I'm insane When it comes to to um yeah when it when it comes to the Ford new assembly assembly plant in Knoxville Tennessee UAW eight local eighteen fifty three the Knoxville assembly plant home of the interceptor concept based. Crown Victoria and Lincoln Continental. So I hope that the un the that the United Auto Workers will like will like pay you know contractors you know union contracts for the tennis to, for the Knoxville Tennessee workers jobs here in the, in the United States even though I live in Florida but I guess Ford will my do way better off with this Knoxville plant. More JD Power Associates awards. Very well built, with very highly skilled Tennessee workers. You know, Ford, Ford in Knoxville for the Knoxville assembly plant. I I bet they're gonna do very well. Thank you very much, and God bless America. Bye.